This is going to be an HTML tutorial on how to create a browser tab fav icon. The fav icon is the little icon that you'll see up in the browser tab. Most websites put their logo in the uh, browser tab. Let me jump over to my browser and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I have a few websites opened up here in my browser and in the tabs at the top, the uh, page I'm on right now, the Google search page, you could see the little Google emblem in the uh, browsers tab and uh, the Amazon page I have opened up also and you can see the Amazon logo in the uh, browser tab and that third one there is the one that I created I just named it website and I have a little logo there I'm going to show you how to do that let me jump over to Illustrator here yeah I used Adobe Illustrator to create mine the dimensions for your fav icon should be 16 pixels by 16 pixels. That is what is recommended. That will work on most browsers. The one that I created, I created an artboard which was 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And I just have just a picture of a butterfly here. I fitted it to my artboard. That's what I'm using. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, I'm going to create a folder here on my desktop. I'm going to right click, go down to New, over to Folder, and I'm just going to call it Test. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to double click on this folder now to go inside of it. And I'm going to create another folder inside of this folder and name it Images. All lowercase. Now I'm going to double click on this images folder and I'm going to place my fav icon in there. I have my fav icon in another folder here. It's right here. I'm going to drag it across and drop it in there. Now I'm going to jump over to VS Code. Okay, I'm in VS Code now. First thing I'm going to do is locate that folder that I named test. I'm going to go up to file, down to open folder and I'm gonna search for that folder that I named test right here I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna click on select folder now I am going to create my HTML file I'm inside of that test folder now I'm gonna go up to file down to new file then I'm gonna save this file as an HTML file I'm gonna go up to file down to save as and I'm just going to name it index.html. I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to create my HTML boilerplate. I'm going to make an exclamation point. Then you can either click on this first wrench or hit the tab key. And the fav icon, you want to place it just below in the head area, just below the title tags. I'm going to place my cursor at the end of the closing title tag. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to create my link link rel equals double quotation marks and in the middle of those double quotation marks I'm going to type icon. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that second double quotation mark. I'm going to make a space and then I'm going to do the type. Type equals double quotations. And the type is going to be an image. I'm using a PNG, so it'll be image forward slash PNG. Then I'm going to place my mouse cursor outside of that second double quotation. I'm going to make a space. And I'm going to do my href. href equals double quotations. And in between those double quotations, I'm going to tell the browser where to find that file. I have that file in a folder named images, forward slash, and then the name of the file. I named the file fav icon. And the extension for my file is a PNG, dot PNG, whoops, dot PNG. Now I need to close. I'm going to go outside that last double quotations there. And I need to close my 
line here. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Then I'm going to open up my web page. I'm going to go to the folder that I created. I'm going to double click on the HTML file. And there it is right there. Pretty simple to do. But that is how you create a fav icon using HTML. Thanks for watching.